All right, Devin. What'd you catch it off of? Cheddar bake. <laughs> 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 What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm taking the John boat out on its very first trip. I have the John boat hooked up to the back of the car and we have a one and a half hour drive to Lake Fryer. I also have Devin's kayak on top of my car as well. I'm taking that down there for him. I was gonna take my kayak as well, but I decided since I have the John boat, am I really gonna wanna paddle a kayak? No, no I'm not. This is all about the John boat today. You probably noticed the motor is gone. That is because this lake I'm going to is five mile per hour only. And bringing the motor will be kind of a waste. I barely get to use it. So I figured let's just take it off, not take it this trip. And it will be way less worry for me not having to worry about having my motor or anyone trying to steal the motor while it's out camping on the lake. I just put one of the batteries from the back in the front to balance out the weight. So I'm gonna test that out, but it's not gonna be a true test because the motor and gas tank is not back here now. So it's not gonna be a true test, but still gonna be a freaking awesome trip. So let's hop in the car and get out of here. Two day camping and, oh, sick, sick shot. Sorry, sorry. So let's get out of here and go do some awesome camping. All right guys, I am running from a storm. There's a storm right there behind me, but straight ahead where I'm going, it's blue skies. I got my boat cover with me, so I'm not worried about any storms, but uh, I just wanna get there with the boat in one piece before any storms hit me while I'm driving. So, wish me luck. First trip with the boat, and we might be in a storm. All right guys, so I think the storm is actually going that way. Pretty sure it is. So I'm not gonna have to worry about any storms. Just blue skies and green fields. All right, guys, we made it to Lake Fryer. I just got my boat permits. So I'm about to head across the lake and go find our camping spot, get my tent set up, and then we will drop the John boat in the water. So let's go, uh, let's go set up a tent. Well, I guess I'm gonna set my tent up right here, right behind Austin's. Uh, I wanna see my face. Pepper it. You trying to suck. Get to work, boys. Would you call me? Men. Would you call me? That is ma'am. What the hell? <laughs> it's ma'am. It's ma'am. Is there only two? Oh. Come on, Cole, you're a failure. Cole. Why we're not friends. We're putting it together, not taking it apart. <laughs> Wait, we're not friends? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm sorry. All the cute ones at the bar leave real early. <laughs> and then you know you got those mm -hmm. ones that stay until closing. Yeah, okay, it's not the only option. I'm, I'm, I'm the crow. <laughs> <laughs> the one that wasn't good enough to be taken away. The one that wasn't able to make it home early. Cole, can you stop playing around and do something? Put this together, Jesus, this is the one you put together, huh, Cole? Yeah, and you fucking broke it. Andrew's been in no problem. Are you recording? Yeah. We're talking about this. Don't look at Devin. <laughs> Don't look at His nips are out. Cole! Damn it. God dang it. This is why Cole can't be around anything. <laughs> oh, you said put the thing in. You didn't fucking yeah. say what? Jesus. And you said you could walk. You said you could walk. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I have a lot of built up tension. Mm. As soon as he came back. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I don't know. Boy, you better make that shit worth it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you watch out? <laughs> Cole's not the brightest. He just sat there and let me do it. <laughs> you see why I have therapy, guys? Because of y'all. That sounds like some YouTube 
college right there. YouTube college. <laughs> All right, that was easy. Yeah. yeah, you stay here and think about what you didn't do. Thanks for the help, friends. Don't call us. <laughs> you call him a friend, not us. No. Home sweet home. All right, tent is up. Now I would really like to get my boat in the water and beach it over here. This ramp is so slippery, I hate it. I take my motor off so I can't just back off like normal. Thank you, buddy. All right, boat is in the water. We just gotta go straight across there and we're good to go. That sunset though. All right, we made it to the campsite. This is where the boat will sit for now. We're about to go eat some walleye that Devin cooked up, but we made it successfully. Let's turn this battery off. This battery has to last us two days. But luckily this is a small lake, so we could get where we want to go, anchor down, turn off the battery, and we should be good. Chunks, 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 please. Mm. That's amazing. Of course, we brought Slap Your Mama. Oh man, shit, that sounds good. I never tried jalapeno. Guys, you cannot see anything, but Devin is throwing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Bro, call me. Oh, oh God, smell it again. <laughs> you can't see anything, but we got this magic bait. It's chicken liver and chicken blood flavored. It's like shit. And it is absolutely horrible. And Devin literally just threw up. It's that bad. Yeah, <laughs> baby. That was so funny. Oh, man. But yeah, we're out here on the John boat. Yeah, me, like Austin, butter, and bro. Devin. <laughs> And we're doing some night catfishing. Oh. It's probably, yeah, the, some they're all gone now, but, or maybe they'll come. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was so fun. So it is dark, I know you can't see anything, but first things first, that nav light is way brighter than I thought it would be. Another thing, we turned on these LED strips. I had three on the front of the boat and they were super super bright too bright to have on your eyes just can adjust to it so i already made a few changes on the boat everyone else is in their tent sleeping i couldn't sleep so i said screw it let's go fishing but i made a few changes to the boat i will show you now bam so that is what it was on top of the deck to have light on the deck but it's just too bright so what i did was I took it off and flipped it on the bottom so now it's shining in the water on both sides the camera's not doing too good to show how bright it is but it's pretty bright in the water so 
I'm pretty stoked with that. I'll probably keep this one on the deck just so we can see up front. Just I just need a light that's higher up casting down on the deck to actually brighten the deck. But anyways, while they sleep, I'm gonna go catch some catfish. All right guys, so I made it out to the middle of the lake. I'm in my spot, I'm anchored down, but the water is so calm right now. It's just me, myself, and I on this lake. It's quiet, and I'm ready to do some catfishing. This is gonna be awesome. Ah, uh, this is so freaking nice, too freaking nice. All right, so I got my poles, Devin's poles, and Austin's pole. So uh, I'm, I'm all decked out with poles. They're all rigged up. I just need to throw some bait on. I'm using some dough bait that made Devin throw up earlier and worms. So uh, I'm gonna cast these out and see what I can catch. Hopefully we can catch some catfish. All right, so it is three in the morning. I am sleeping on the boat. Uh, <laughs> I fell asleep and my friend Andrew pulled up on the kayak and he hit my line and the bell went off and it scared the crap out of me so bad. The bell woke me up, but didn't scare me. But I hopped up, and I saw him on the kayak, and it freaked me out. I thought it was like a, a boat, but uh, it was just him on the kayak. But yeah, I never jumped up so fast in my life. <laughs> but I got a uh, my life jacket here. That's my pillow. And I'm basically just curled up here in the floor of my John boat and this is where I'm sleeping. I have been out here all morning or all night and I've only gotten like three bites. So fishing is horrible. This lake sucks for fishing. I love this lake because it's super peaceful but fishing here is just horrible. But it's all good. I'm having a great time. This boat is actually really comfortable. Like I'm not even kidding. But yeah, I'm going to go back to bed. I just thought I would share that story and give y'all an update on what I'm doing. Pretty cool. I saw like seven shooting stars already just tonight. I haven't watched the stars in a really long time. So it's really peaceful. That definitely scared me. But I wonder how scared Andrew was when he saw my boat but didn't see me in the boat. Because uh, it's three in the morning and he went out on the kayak to look for me. He was the only one awake when I went out fishing. So uh, I told him I was going fishing. And uh, he came and looked for my boat. Because <laughs> I've been gone a few hours now. And uh, that had to scare him as well. Seeing my boat but not seeing me. So I'm going to ask him about that in the morning. But uh, thanks Andrew. Thank you for scaring the crap out of me. But uh, I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> Alright so there is the first fish of the night. It is like 3.38. Uh, crazy. If this wasn't so peaceful, it would not be worth it, but uh, I don't mind at all. But first fish, so let's go ahead and release this guy. Another good thing about these lights on the side is y'all can see the fish releases. Oh, see ya buddy. First fish, maybe things will start looking up. I tried three different spots. I'm basically right in the middle of the lake now. So it is six in the morning. I just woke up to Fish number two, another small little catfish. Ah, uh, they're all small. I wish there were some bigger ones. All right, I'm changing my tactics. No more catfishing. I'm gonna try for some bass. Everyone else is awake, so me and Devin are gonna hop on the John boat, do some bass fishing. And Austin's hopping on this kayak. So last night I heard a huge splash around probably four in the morning. It sounded like a grown man jumping in the water, but it was a fish. That had to be a huge fish. Sound like a snappy turtle coming up. Uh oh. Yeah, hey. Austin, hang on to it. Keep it, we're coming to you. All right, Austin caught a bass. Let's check it out. Dang, son. <laughs> That's a good size. Really skinny, but. Yeah, you got some meat. Yeah, let me wrap around you. He's got four at least. Dang, dude. I think this is huge. Oh, off that tiny ass grub or what? 
Yeah. Damn, off that? Yeah, I seen two of them. I seen water in there for like five seconds swirling around like there was something in there. So I was like, I'm gonna keep getting it. And I let it sink to the bottom that time and he smoked it. I thought I was stuck and I was like, oh no, that's a good fish. I'm saying at least four. What are you holding me guess? Oh, okay. Dude, yeah, back there, he looks way small. It feels heavy. He's I said four. Yeah, probably four. Damn, yeah, he's been cutting me up. All right, Devin. Like What'd you catch it off of? Chatterbait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chatterbait. Gurgan chatterbait. Gurgan chatterbait. All right, we're going to weigh this guy. All right. First Bring time. In water. Reset. Dude, okay. okay. As soon as I freaking got him in, a bigger one jumped in there. I was like, oh. Then so my GoPro battery kept dying while weighing this fish. This was a pretty nice sized bass. It was long, but it was also really skinny. So this bass only weighed three pounds and four ounces, but still a great catch for this lake. The last three trips we took out here, we only caught bluegill, five inch crappie, and 10 inch bullheads. So catching a bass this size was a great catch, but the only catch we had this morning, besides the two bullhead I caught earlier on the John boat. A storm is blowing in. We were expecting this. We are prepared for this, but it looks pretty crazy outside. The wind sounds freaking crazy. Hopefully this little tent will hold up in this wind. I believe it will though. It's doing pretty good, but what a way to end this camping trip. <laughs> Before I roll the outro on this video, I just want to say I made it home safe. The boat and trailer did good on the highway. I had no problems with that whatsoever. So that is awesome. But I feel like we actually broke the boat in now. We took it on this first trip. It did successful. We had an awesome time. I made some stains in the carpet, you know, got the boat dirty. So the boat is finally broken in. It isn't done yet. I still have to install the fish finder, but it is almost there. But the first trip was a success. Well guys, we survived the storm, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. I didn't really film that much. I just relaxed and soaked in the sun and enjoyed camping. But uh, I was just so freaking tired, staying up all night on the boat. I got like four hours of sleep. So yeah, I was exhausted and just wanted to relax. So that is what I did. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.